Hello, hello, hello to all of my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Happy new super new moon. Happy super new you. Happy super new year. Let's get right into your general reading. Let's get right into your general reading. I know a lot of people celebrated a super moon in Aquarius on the 21st of January. So hopefully you uh, set some super new intentions moving forward. Let's get right into it, Sagittarius. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it, Sagittarius. Sagittarius and see what your cards have to say. What's coming up? This is your motivational Monday reading. This reading is for uh, Monday, the 23rd through uh, of January, by the way, through the 28th of February. Let's get right into your reading and let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say, Sagittarius. Let's see what your cards have to say. See what good things are coming out of this super new year for you. Let's see what good things are coming your way. Let's see. First card out of the deck is the Ace of Cups. So I look like it looks like somebody is leaving something behind and maybe even mourning the past a bit, but just making some adjustments to go ahead and just move on from something, right? Maybe somebody cut you off or maybe you cut them off because we've seen a justice card here and also the temperance card. But whatever it is, somebody is making peace with the past. Again, a super new you is the one at peace. Somebody who is, you know, ascending higher, taking the high road. It's it's a lot deeper than taking the high road, Sagittarius. Um, it's it's more or less somebody saying to themselves, My heart may have been bruised by something, but I'm moving on from something. Here we have the Ten of Swords and also the Knight of Swords. So it looks like somebody's getting away from that when you look at knight's energy, look at it like knight in shining armor, right? Whether no matter what element we're in, whether it's air, earth, water, fire, no matter what element it in, it's in, look at it as I need to physically get away from hurting anybody. I need to physically, when we look about, when we think about sword energy, remember the sword cuts both ways. So you may have been hurt multiple times, but you're also trying to get as far away from hurting anybody. I know everybody has heard the term, or at least a lot of people have heard the term Sagittarius, before I hurt you, I'll leave you. This is where somebody is saying, I don't want to participate in hurting anybody else unknowingly. Maybe you may have, um, a lot of times when people are this hurt, like devastated, about to like zombify out, like the person who has been zombified out because they've been so devastated and hurt. A lot of times they don't even realize they're hurting people. So I do see you finally putting a manhole over the past you know, mourning the past. When we talk about closing out cycles, like we just closed out the cycle on the 20th of, of January, right? But when we talk about closing out cycles, I want you to think about like closing out, saying goodbye to something, like finally saying goodbye to something and just moving on from it. Sometimes it looks like tears. Sometimes it looks like frustration. Sometimes it looks like anger. Like if you think about uh, people who talk about when they go to funerals, or go to weddings, anything where somebody feels like they have to say goodbye to what they've always known. Like sometimes families break out in fights at weddings. Unfortunately, it happens, you know, because somebody feels like their son, daughter, cousin, somebody is, you know, it's, it, they have to close out their cycle as they know it. So be gentle with yourselves during this time. Being near water or around water is going to be extremely helpful. Uh, Sagittarius, um, if you can take a trip or go to the beach or do something where you feel like, you know, I'm, I'm doing something to nurture myself, to be in receiving mode, to like really sit down with self and move forward in a more peaceful way. Okay. All right. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. We have the eight of cups. We have the, um, page of swords, the three of swords, the moon card, the queen of pentacles and the sun card. So I do see somebody spending some time out in the sun. Remember you all are fire signs. So the sun is what's going to recharge you is, is you getting back out. Somebody's going to feel a lot more youthful out in the sun. Somebody's going to feel rejuvenated. Somebody's going to feel a lot better, you know, just being out in that sunlight. Here we have the eight of cups. So again, I see you again, not wanting to burn anybody, but again, stepping into your own light. See this ba this background on the beach? Somebody is like, I, I need to be out with, you know, in all of the elements. That's what I'm seeing. Like somebody needs to be out in all of the elements. Again, it could have been heart. Something could have been heartbreaking and disappointing, but the anxiety is going to be going away. It's going to be going away soon. So just be very, very careful um, and be gentle with yourselves. You know, I'm looking at also the moon card and this is where a situation could have been tricky and it could have been like, you know, some things that were 
let, let me let me slow down and break this down. The moon card is tricky in a, in a sense that there could have been some energies that talked about you behind your back because these are 10 swords. So it could have been somebody had gotten used to people talking about you behind your back, being disingenuous. It could have been just hurt piled on top of hurt, on top of hurt, on top of hurt. This last sword right here, we're looking at this, when we look at sword energy, this last sword for somebody could have just simply been somebody saying, I'm walking away from you. You cut me with a sword, I'm walking away from you. But it could have been so devastating. Like it felt like, okay, everybody leaves me. Everybody leaves me behind. But again, it doesn't take much when you're this hurt already, when you have this many sores in you for somebody, just one more sword. That mean that could have been cutting you off. Like, okay, you're too hurt and you're lashing out and you're hurting other people. And you don't even realize you're hurting other people. And somebody could have said this, I'm walking away. I'm walking away. I'm moving on. I'm just moving on. Right. So I do see, I do see new energy coming across your path though. Um, what Source was trying to do with somebody is send people across your path that's not going to waste your time. When we talk about time, we talk about your currency, right? You're very down-to-earth Sagittarius. You're very relatable. A lot of people think Sagittarius are a lot of fun. And so that's why you got to get away from being so hurt and bleeding all over people. My childhood was horrible. This life is horrible. This is horrible. This is bad. That's bad. And again, only take what resonates with you. If you're already at the point where you feel like, okay... I'm I'm healed from a lot of past traumas, then wonderful. Please drop a comment below that's going to help fellow Sagittarians because this is a speaking to somebody. And I do see, like I said before, that um, you're looking at all of the hurt and you're separating. When I look at this, you, you're looking at the pros and cons of every situation, every sword, right? Remember the sword cuts both ways. This is a super new you, Right. So a lot of times when we are bleeding, we don't even realize we're bleeding all over other people, right? That hurt could be like really a cry for help, but it could come out totally the, the, the opposite way of what you thought it was coming out. But again, I do see a lot of healing here moving forward. I do see you trying to, you getting as far away from hurting anybody. Um, I do see you, like I said, um, continuing to come in contact with people who are, are not going to waste your time. But when you're, when you're dealing with people who are, when you're dealing with people who are, who have been in the same position that you've been in, they too have been hurt maybe from their childhood, maybe family situations, maybe people in their family have died, all kinds of things, Sagittarius. And you come across those type of people. They don't, they're not going to stick around for long if they feel like their time is being used in a way that's not wise. Like, I got to keep proving, you know, I got to keep proving to somebody that I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to do these things. I'm not going to do this. And this is what you are moving more towards. Like I said, some serious healing coming out of some things. And you're going to see why some people may have left your life, but you're going to also see how exactly when I'm talking about how that sword cuts double side, double edge, I'm seeing soulmate energy come across your path. I'm looking at the queen of cups, the three of cups. I'm also saying the 10 of wands and also the four of cups and also the page of cups. So again, like I said before, lots of water in your cards because source really wants somebody to get near being able to be in receiving mode. And if you're hurt and bleeding all over the place, it's going to be so hard for anybody to be in receiving mode of anything that source is trying to send your way and see and, and until you start speaking in, in, in advance, like starting saying, thank you source for healing. Thank you for giving me all of this water so I can wash off past wounds so I can let that air hit it. And I can let, I can really heal. I'm not just trying to put band-aids over things, bleed, still bleeding all over people with unhealed traumas and those kind of things and unhealed, you know, whatever. And I, I do see that happening for you. You're going to come out of the situation so much more compassionate and so much more willing to receive soulmate energy. And soulmate could be a member of your soul tribe is what I'm seeing for a lot of people as a mem members, not just a member, but members of your soul tribe. So keep up the good work, Sagittarius. Like I said before, um, I genuinely don't hear, I generally don't hear people say negative things about Sagittarius at all, but it began because you guys are mutable signs and Sagitt and mutable signs kind of go along with the program, try to go along with the program until you feel like it, there's something that's agitating your spirit. And naturally because your energy is sent, uh, um, 
Your energy is directed outward as a divine masculine sign and you're a fire sign to people that comes across as blow torching people. So you want to make sure the energies around you are very, um, not only just compassionate, but the most, especially people that are compassionate towards you, people who are trying to do kind things for you. You, you may have had other people who did things for you and tossed it in your face in the path. If a person is not tossing it in your face, be in receiving mode. Just your, your gratitude is just simply saying, thank you. That's it. it. It life doesn't have to be filled with drama and, and chaos and confusion. It really doesn't because it, it can be overwhelming if that's the case. And source is trying to make somebody booked and busy instead of being overwhelmed by hurt, you know, things that happened in the past. And then, and in contrast, when you're interacting with the person who is bleeding all over you, you may want to tell them maybe one, two or three times, hey, listen, I'm not trying, I'm not here to hurt you. But if I feel like you keep trying to hurt me, I need to move on. You know, how many times is a person supposed to say, oh my God, I didn't realize how bad I hurt you before you finally say, okay, enough is enough. This is draining. It's counterproductive. And, you know, it's, it's manipulative at some point. So I'm seeing a lot of water here in the cars and it looks like somebody may have been manipulated a lot, like a lot of gaslighting going on. And so, so with all of that, that's exactly how you'd come across to other people is a person who's crying wolf. You know, we've all met those people. It's just like every time they hurt you, they come back with an apology. Well, everybody has done everything wrong to me, but you're like, well, what did I do to you in order for you to treat me like that? Like you're treating me like everybody else treated you. Like well, how how is that productive? So we have the King of Wands. So I do see somebody, you know, on their throne, inspiring a lot of people, helping them to find the flame within themselves. We also have the Devil card. The Devil card can mean that somebody could be in some kind of a demonic soul tie relationship. Let me reiterate this. The devil is not a is not a physical being. It's a spirit of fear, doubt, addiction, some kind of um um uncertainty, right? It's it's the complete it's the polar opposite of faith. We know faith is God, the devil is the underworld, all of that energy, right? in its own personal hell. And so somebody could be dealing with somebody else who, like I said before, when we, when we're coming up, when God is sending people across our path, Sagittarius, a lot of times God is sending people across our path for us to help them with something we've already come through for us to be gentle enough to help them through something that they may be going through. Right. But how long are you supposed to stay in an abuse, you know, abused? right? In a situation. So here we have the queen of swords. I do see somebody doing a better job at vetting energies that's coming across your path. All while, if, if you've ever noticed that some people, they don't, they don't come with a bunch of drama when they, when they enter your life, it's, it's in a, in a easy kind of way. When they exit your life, they leave the same way. They may not even announce that they're leaving. They, you may not even understand. Some people don't even understand the, the devastation that some people have gone through in their lives. And if people aren't willing to get help, then it's it's time for you to move on. Here we have the Ace of Pentacles. So I see you still, you know, earning your money, working very hard, earning your money, getting it out of the mud. Here we have the Page of Swords coming up twice here. Let's let me know the anxiety that you may have been feeling about a situation is coming to an end. And we also have the Eight of Pentacles. So we're looking at at least eight streams of income. The main thing that I'm looking at here in your car, Sagittarius, is like a lot of cups energy. A lot of cups energy is, um, the first card that came out, I want to say it was the five of cups. It was, I think it was a cups card that came out. So something you want to ask yourselves when we're talking about cups energy, we're talking about uh, sacral chakra. It's like, why am I, you know, this could, okay. One of the questions you could be, and we're talking about transformational power questions, right? So transformational power questions are questions that you're asking yourselves, but self is God. So you're asking God you know, these questions. And it's more or less like balancing your duality out, like not being over sappy. You don't have to be manipulative or anything like that. Woe is me. Everybody hurt me. Matter of fact, the 10 of swords is what source is saying to you. I don't want you to be in victim mode. I want you to be in, in, uh, in, in thriving mode. You're a survivor of a lot of things that have happened to you. I want you to be in survivor mode, right? That's what you're inspiring people to be, to be, Hey, you still alive. You, you were able to walk away from a lot of situations. You're in survivor mode. You don't have to be in victim mode. So one of the questions that you could ask yourself, a transformational power question is, why am I becoming continually more comfortable with my emotions? 
yeah, with my emotions. That's able to express to a person, hey, this is this is knowing yourself that you're a fire sign and that that blowtorch could come out if you feel like you're backed into a corner with somebody constantly accusing you of things or whatever. And it comes, it sends out the wrong message, Sagittarius. This is you saying to yourself, I know me. Um, I'm comfortable in my emotions and I can express them. So whether you are hurt or you hurt somebody else, remember that sword is going both, both ways. Whenever you get to a point where you feel like somebody said or did something to you that cuts you deep like a sword because you don't have a problem with your emotions. Cause remember you ask yourself the transformative powerful question, right? Why am I continually more comfortable with my emotions? then you you don't have a problem saying to a person, what did I do to deserve that sword cut? What did I do to deserve that? You know, how many, and then you have to decide how many times am I going to let, you know, hear, keep hearing the same apology about the same reason why somebody cut like a sword, but also extend the same grace. If you've bled all over people and hurt people that if they decide to walk away, Okay, I understand. I've learned whatever lesson that I need to learn. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody. Again, life does not have to be overly dramatic. It doesn't have to be cussing people out, calling people phony, all of this kind. Of, this is where we we extend grace and compassion to the human race, fellow human beings, right? So let's see what else we got going on here. So we can go ahead and close out your reading. Let's close it out. Here we have balanced spirituality with practicality. Like I said before, somebody has been in some um, some very overwhelming, emotionally overwhelming situations in the past. And once you start separating the situations and look, taking it case by case, this is, this is, where's that card? Queen of Swords energy. I'm v literally vetting every single thing case by case by case. You don't need to lump everybody in the same category. It's healing, right? Deciding, um, deciding what I'm going to give access to in my world again and what I'm no longer going to give access to in my world again, right? All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Look to the stars. Look to the stars, look to the stars, look to the stars. Look to the stars. Look to the stars. All right, let's see what your number is and let's pull an affirmation card. Oops, two, 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 right? Two, 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 I am balanced. That's right. Yeah, somebody somebody may have been gaslighted and overly manipulated because somebody didn't know how to express their emotions from like back in your family. Like, cause this is 10, so this is a lot of swords. Long before this one last sword did it for you that sent you over to the other side, this is okay. I, I need to balance this out. I, I really, really need to balance this out, right? Here we have trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing and as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. That's right. So start saying to yourself, I am balanced. I, I'm balanced out in every way. I recognize that I have been hurt. You know, I recognize that I may have hurt people, you know, but I am balanced now. And I, I again, you're asking yourself the transformative transformational um, power question, which is why am I becoming continually more comfortable with my emotions? That's right. You know, you expressing, you're learning how to express yourselves in a very healthy way. All right. So here we have letting go affirmations for letting go. Here we go. I release what I can't control. I let go of doubt. I will not allow fear to stop me. I say goodbye to all that blocks my growth. I am weightless, free from burdens. I am shifting my perspective. I am free from regret. Failure is a helpful feedback. That's right. That is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you all so much for joining me. Again, this is your Motivational Monday reading. Um, Motivational Monday readings are an extension of Sunday's reading. So if you haven't had an opportunity to check out Sunday's reading, please go check it out. And I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye.